Now that you are a certified tax professional under ATM Global Solutions, we're going to show you how to assign your prepaid accounts to your customers during tax season. As a tax professional, you would go to your personalized website, click Login, and then Merchant. Now you would simply enter in the Access ID and then the password. The Access ID is always going to be a number. The password is what you created upon sign up. Under Transactions, you would go ahead and click Virtual POS and then Load Customer Card. Now you would click Instant Issue Premium Card Sale and we would enter in the information here. If you are a tax office and you have ATM membership cards with your company logo, we are now going to show you how to assign tax cards to your customers. Here in this box, you would leave blank. Put a check mark in this box that says if you wish to have a MasterCard sent. Here is where you would enter in your ATM membership cards with your company logo. Enter that card number here. This you leave blank. Under loading amount, you enter zero. Agency fee is where you would put the amount that your agency charges. You would put that fee here. Direct deposit amount. This amount is the actual amount that's going to be refunded back to the customer. The exact amount of the tax return. Under Section 6, this is the customer information and you need to fill in all items that have a star. Enter in the name, the date of birth, the mobile number, email, their mailing address, and keep in mind that uh, this is physical addresses only, no P.O. boxes are allowed. Here for count country of residence, it must be the United States. For document type, Tax offices must use a social security number or tax ID number, and you can change that here by selecting social security or TIN number. Document number is where you would put in the social or the TIN number. Country of issuance must be the United States. Leave this blank that says expiration date and click continue. This next page is where you're going to actually confirm if all of this information is correct. Do not click the back button as it will generate a secondary account. From here, you click process and that's going to generate a receipt. Here, the two most important items on this receipt are going to be the routing number as well as the account number. This goes into the tax software and also you see the last four numbers of the card number that has been assigned. So again, this is the routing number and account number. You must make two copies of this receipt. One copy is going to be for the customer file and the other is going to be to give a copy to the customer. Remember, in order to have a full functionality of your website, you would want to use Firefox as your browser. Once you've verified that all of this information is correct, you would click Process, and that's going to generate a receipt. The next step in the process is to upload proof of identity. Here is where you would go and click Browse, and that's going to allow you to select the file so that you can upload the customer's identification. Once you upload the identification, it's going to show here and you simply click Upload and it will allow it to be uploaded. Click Continue and now that has been generated and sent to the company for the identification. Keep in mind it will not process without uploading the customer's identification. 
For compliance, we must submit a photo ID along with this request in order to complete the process. Congratulations. This is the start of you creating a brand recognition with your customers. We are excited to partner with you.